Hi, my name is Kevin Fernandez and welcome to my channel, Gamers Genie. Today, we're going to be doing an unboxing video on the game, Extraordinary Adventures Pirates. So, as you can see, um, it's got some pretty good, uh, it's got some pretty decent artwork. I like the character, uh, the caricature way they draw these characters, so you definitely can tell that it is kind of a family friendly environment. Um, because it, well, it is eight and up, ages eight and up. Uh, it is a two to six player game. And um, it's gonna take about 60 minutes, give or take. Um, but I always feel like once you get the rules down to a game, it doesn't even feel like the time that it's recommended. I feel like that's just how long it might take if you are a beginning player. But it could take longer than that. Um, so yeah, you know. Uh, I like the font that they chose and everything, but that's a little bit of a cool intro. That's a cool enough intro. So let's crack this nut open and see what's inside. Okay, so we have the box. I like I said, I do enjoy the uh, caricatures of these characters that they have on the cover, and it really gives just gives you a general idea of what you might encounter in the game. Um, so. It's really cool that they have an exclamation mark, so it's not just pirates, it's pirates! Um, I really hope that comes out pretty good and after sound editing and everything, but um, it's nice. So we're gonna flip it over on the back side, and as you can see, it's gonna show, it shows a little bit of the components that you're gonna come into. Uh, this is by Forbidden Games. Um, same company that makes um, the wonderful uh, Railroad Rivals game. Um, got uh, a little bit of an intro there um, some stuff so we're gonna take our exacto knife we're gonna make a small incision on the bottom and we're gonna climb up the side and we're gonna remove the plastic okay so we're gonna lift up the top there we go and this is the rules to the game. We're going to just show a little peek in there, like the table of contents, and it shows us all the stuff that we're going to run into. Um, I like that it's a nice little booklet. So now we got the board. And of course, it's a big board, and we don't have the camera at an angle where it can cover such a big board. So we're just going to show you parts of it. I do like how they make it look a little bit like an actual sea map. That does give you some authenticity to the game. Okay. And once again, they send, they put a nice little uh, bag to put, um, I'm assuming, these crates in here. And I like how they keep everything nice and neatly organized. I'm, I'm not even going to take these out. Like, I like these ships. They look really nice. Okay. And, oh, and I like how it comes in nice little trays. It's like amazing. So we're going to, we're going to open up everything because I don't think we need to. So I'm going to start with the cards. And I'm going to move my way across uh, so we can, we'll probably be revisiting some stuff that I was talking about uh, later. Um, but I bought this game because I was like, I I wasn't planning, after I got Jordan's uh, anniversary present, I was not planning on buying any more games at Gen Con. I know, crazy, right? It's like, how can, it's like, you go to Gen Con buying games, it's like eating potato chips. You can, how can you have more than just one? Um, how can you not have more than just one? It's, it's an unheard of thing. But we were crossing past um, Forbidden Games' booth, and I saw this, and I saw people playing it. It looked so amazing. And I mean, I know, I know, and I love pirates. The pirate theme is something I love in games. So here's the cards. We have treasure cards. Um, we have uh, beam reach. Um, honestly, I forgot most of the rules when I learned it at Gen Con. Running before the wind. 
and then there's running against the wind. Ha 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 ha. Cross hold, uh, sailor from Port Royal. We have uh, sailor from. I do not want to attempt to pronounce that because I'm pretty sure I'm going to butcher it. Um, so there are all these sailors from different places. And it looks very interesting. They all have like different abilities. I love the artwork on this. It's uh, very, very cartoony. So very, very welcoming for kids. And that's good because it's for eight-year-olds. Because this game, the youngest age you start on it is eight-year-olds. Of course, it's probably got some uh, more uh, stuff for adults. So we got Pirate Captain. And, you know, so that way anybody can just uh, play this game. Which I do like that... Even though they are kids' games, there are still some more adult. And I'm pretty sure this might also have, like, I doubt it, but it might have some, uh, a couple of, um, dang, I can't think of the word. Um, like, advanced rules. That's what I was thinking of. Advanced rules. Um, so we got Young Merchant Seaman. And this, and we got a merchant seaman, not a young merchant seaman, a merchant seaman, and another merchant seaman, this one's a woman, um, and another merchant seaman, I guess these are just merchants, yeah, merchant captain, so they're not just pirates and stuff, it's also merchants too, um, I'm just, and I want to point out something before I go to the next deck, I love that they have purple in there, because purple is my favorite color, and it's crazy in, in games, purple is not being used as one of the common colors of games. So I do like it, and I find it interesting that uh, they decided to go with purple. So we got a lubber. Um, someone who easily gets seasick. And an able-bodied seaman. There's a lot of seamen in here. Um, sailing master's mate. Uh, lubber. Uh, this must be the personal decks for each ship. So this is the personal crew that you all start off with uh, in the game. I'm going to assume this because each one has a special colored border that matches each ship. So that's, that's really nice that you, because this is a deck building game. I want to point this out. This is a deck building game, which means that you, you get to start off with a certain number of cards and you build up from there. Which is, you know, pretty awesome. I like deck building games. And uh, we got some treasure, different types of treasure. Yeah, it said Long Ben. Long Ben's treasure. Um, Blackbeard's treasure. You gotta always have Blackbeard. Uh, you know, you can't, you cannot have Blackbeard in a, a pirate game. You can't not have him. That's crazy. That's crazy talk. Who'd ever heard of a a pirate game without Blackbeard? Anne's treasure, the Jolly Roger's treasure, Bloody Mary's treasure, Topsail Island treasure, lots of treasure. And it looks like each of these treasure tiles um, have different colored boxes. So I'm wondering, my question is, do the crates, these crates right here, which I will transfer now. So I'm going to take some out. And I'm going to put the rest in this little bag because I'm assuming that's where they're going to need to go. Okay. So these crates are kind of the treasure that you collect from my assumption from this. And... I'm just wondering, is this going to have some of the same elements as the game Railroad Rivals? Um, by the way, I love the material that they use for, the, for their bags, their, for storing items. It's just so great. And so now, I'm going to take out all of the, the captains. And, oh my gosh, look at that. That is just amazing. Um, these definitely have nice quality to them. And I'm going to try to figure out how to organize these where they're all going to fit in that little corner over there. Because I think I can get them all to fit. I'm going to stand them up. 
on end here. Making sure that they're all matching by color. And think I'm going to go with blue next. Dang it. It's hard to line these up. Stop moving. Um, but I'm going to just, yep, you can keep them all mixed up. That's good. So we're going to, there we go. There we go. Going to move that over to the side. We're going to put the board on top and this should, this should folks, we're going to take a look, quick rule at the, look at the rule book one last time and close that. This should close the box and, oh yes. There we go. There's pirates for you. Well, there you go. Extraordinary Adventures Pirates. That's all the, the components that are in there. Like I said in the video, I do enjoy that everything has a nice little neat space so it, it makes for easy, like compact uh, cleanup. So that way you don't have things like just shaking up in there. Um, obviously, there are probably going to be some things that are going to come loose. Again, I also like the, the individual item bags that they always include in their games. They do, uh, when it comes to a lot of material, I feel like they don't skimp out that much. Uh, this is uh, Forbidden, this is another, seems like another wonderful game by Forbidden Games. I do love their games. They're very fun and enjoyable. Um, but let's get down to the nitty gritty business stuff now. So, if you would like us to do a how to play video uh, as soon as possible because eventually once again eventually we will get to making a how to play video on this game but if you'd like to see one um, as soon as possible put that down in the comments below also if you'd like to see who would you like to host this video uh, me or Jordan all you need to do is just type our names down uh, in the comments below as well and for me you can use Kevin or you can use the genie um, or genie. Um, we'll know who you're talking about. Um, and uh, so if you really enjoy our channel, please uh, consider being a Patreon supporter of this channel. Uh, and, but if you are on a budget, because we do start as low as $5. I have been thinking about doing one for like a dollar or something like that and then maybe raising the reward by like one for the for one of my other things. I don't know what to call it yet though, but I'm going to see what what happens. Um, uh, feel free to check out our Patreon page and becoming a Patreon supporter of this page. But if you are on a budget, that's okay. All you need to do is just tell your friends and family about this channel. Spread the word about it. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, I will leave links to those in the description below. And we also have some news. Once we get to 500 subscribers, we're going to start a Twitch account, which we will do some live streaming videos, like we will give you tips on games that we have uh, demoed before. We will also live stream me and Jordan and other people, not just me and Jordan, playing expansions of games that we have taught previously on this channel. Um, so as well, we will also be starting a poll soon where we recently, me and Jordan, have uh, done a tournament at Gen Con and we'll talk about that more in detail in our news and updates video. So be on the lookout for that. Um, but we will also uh, be leaving a poll whether you want us to live stream the next tournament at Gen Con we do for next year. Um, so be on the lookout for that and be on the lookout for our next gameplay video. But until then, thanks for the views. Mm -hmm.